I know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game and it's free. Click the link down there, you got it. Jayolay.com. My dog, what's up, Lita from Russia with K. James, pretty brown eyes. KJ from Delaware. People know what you've done. Often, when people have accomplished things, a lot of times I see people who make the mistake of downplaying their accomplishments because they don't want other people to feel insecure. They don't want other people to say, well, you're being arrogant or you're being cocky because you're always talking about what you did or you're always talking about that thing you accomplished a couple years ago or a couple weeks ago or this thing you did wasn't even that great. And people try to make you feel like it's wrong to talk about the things you've achieved. And that's absolutely incorrect. I want to let all of y'all know this morning that the things that you have achieved is something that you got to let know, let people know that you've done it because if you don't tell them, they won't know. There's a song Drake got called, it's called Used To, off the, if you're reading this, it's too late out. He says, when you get to where I'm at, you got to let them know where the fuck you at. Y'all know that song I'm talking about? You got to let people know what you've done when you've achieved things. And I'm going to give you three reasons why you got to do that this morning. Number one thing is this. Understand that your resume, the things that you have achieved, nobody's going to know about it if you don't tell them. And you letting people know what you've done is just like the news. You know, you turn on the news and they tell you what happened that day. They tell you who got killed. They tell you what the weather is. They tell you the sports scores. They tell you what's going on in politics. They tell you what happened to some school across town. They let you know what's going on in the world. That's the news. There's nothing wrong with news. People watch the news every single day. We read the newspaper. We go on Google. We look at Twitter to see what's going on in the world. That's news. The things that you have achieved are news. And if you don't let people know the news, you know what they're going to do? They're going to go to somebody else who got the news. Somebody else who's letting people know what they've done. So don't feel bad about letting people know. Number two thing is this. People who have an adequate level of confidence or higher don't have a problem letting people know what they've done. Because there are people who have achieved less than you are going to try to make you feel like there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you talking about what you've done. You're bragging. You're being arrogant. When you have confidence, you don't mind letting people know what you've achieved because they will never know if you don't tell them again. And point number three is this. The only people who are going to say something negative about what you've done are going to be negative about you talking about your resume or what you've achieved or what you did or maybe what you're about to do are people who've done less than you. People who've done more than you don't have a problem with you talking about what you've done because why? They're not insecure about it because they're looking at you talking about what you've done. They know they did more, so they don't even have a problem with you talking about it. Actually, they're happy because you might come help them have company. You might come be their company up at a higher level. Most people are down there at the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, talking about what everybody else did or didn't do. The person that's at that higher level is happy to hear you talking about what you did. Happy to see that you have that confidence because they look, they're like, yo, we might get some company up here, somebody else who's willing to do it. And if you think about it in your life, the only people who ever be talking shit about what you're doing and talking about it negatively, like there's something wrong with you talking about what you've done, are people who have done less than you. You tell me if I'm wrong or right about that. Very rarely do you have somebody who's achieved more than you feeling, talking negatively about you, talking about what you've done, talking about your resume, talking about your achievements, talking about what you're doing. Everybody understand those? Let me recap those three points. Number one, letting people know what you've done is just like watching the news. The news comes on every day. People watch the news for an hour a day. People pay a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars to watch, to read newspapers. People pay money to get news. So let people know what the news is. Number two, when you have an adequate level of confidence, you don't mind letting people know what you've achieved because they will otherwise never know. And number three, the only people who got something negative to say about you talking about what you've done are people who have done less than you. That's because your achievements make them feel insecure about their lack of achievement. So always keep those three things in mind. Let me take a couple questions. I ain't been taking questions the last couple of scopes, but I'll take some questions. My name is Dre All Day. Those who don't know me come from Philadelphia, live in South Florida professional basketball player for nine years overseas i don't ever spit in public man shut the fuck up get this bum ass motherfucker off here <laughs> played professional basketball overseas for nine years i'm a professional speaker now now I've done three ted talks coach consultant what else do i do i got a podcast i'm on all your favorite social medias just go to my website dreallday.com you'll find out about me more about me whatever you want to know Anybody got any questions? <laughs> I'll take any questions anybody got this morning. <laughs> oh, that wasn't planned. I don't know who that guy was, but we won't see him again over here. Nobody got any questions? Was I, was I that thorough? <coughs> was I that thorough with what I shared this morning? Nobody got a question? I'm going to wait 30 seconds to see if anybody got a question, and I'll take it. I got, y'all want to see my TED Talks, just go to my website, dreallday.com. What's going on, Kevin? I'm in Miami. I'm in Miami, that's where I live. Shout out to Germany. Thank you very much, Tyler Allen. Thank you, I appreciate that. Nice muscle, good word, thank you. Thank you. You're in English class? Yeah. I don't know about English. English class, let me think. 
I don't remember nothing that I learned in English class in 12 years of school. I think I might have took an English class in college too. I ain't learned nothing from it. I went to Penn State. Penn State out tuner to be exact for those who don't know about that. Alright, so all y'all make sure you follow me on Periscope. If y'all on Snapchat, any of y'all use Snapchat, follow me is at Dre Baldwin. Dre Baldwin. My first name, my last name, no spaces. If you don't remember that, just go to my website, DreAllDay.com. You'll see the snap code right there. Yes, Miami rules. Miami is great. Everybody have a great Thursday. It is beautiful back here. You gotta see the whole city though. This is just a small part. This is like 1%. This ain't even 1%. You gotta see the whole city. It's beautiful. But everybody have a great day. Work on your game. Dre all day. Make sure you follow me on social media, Snapchat. You see it right there. The code's gonna come up. Dre Baldwin. My Instagram is the same name, at Dre Baldwin. My Twitter and my Periscope, both at Dre all day. Y'all know my website, DreAllDay.com. Any business inquiries, hit me via email, Dre at DreAllDay.com. Or you can just send me a snap. Work on your game. Dre all day.